a comfortable cross-legged position and just start to move your middle around. Think about rolling your belly around and your head makes a circle in the air. And then lean back behind you onto your palms, rock a little side to side. Once you've had enough of that, just crawl up and over your legs. Don't force anything, just relax over, gentle sway, tiptoe your fingertips around to the, the left, float your right arm up, open your chest and belly to the sky and then turn your belly down. Do that a couple of times, just moving easy as though you're moving underwater. When you've had enough of that, turn your belly down and tiptoe your fingertips around to the right, lean into that left elbow, roll your belly open, float the left arm up opening up and then turning your belly down so you're moving from centre. Keep everything relaxed. Ease your way back to the middle. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Lift your chest, sway a little side to side and relax over your legs. Let your arms float up if you can. Gentle sway from side to side. And then release and roll up through the spine. Relax your shoulders. Lean to the left and slide your right leg out to the right side. Find a nice long spine. You can bend the knee if there's tightness there. Inhale and on the exhale, slide down your extended leg. Don't force anything. Just go as far as you comfortably can and roll around from your centre here. Just like we did before, rolling your belly open, allowing that arm to float up and then turning your belly down and softening over. Moving easy. Reach that top arm behind you, lean into it and lift your hips up, relax your head back, turn your body into a gentle arch. Ease down onto your left hip and bend your right knee to a 90 degree angle, then turn your belly towards the left knee, come onto your fingertips, lean into your fingers as you undulate through the spine, lean with your chin and chest, lowering your chest down and then rolling up through the spine. Now lift your hands and continue that gentle undulation of the spine. Lead with the chin and chest, roll up through the spine, vertebra by vertebra. One more time. Well done. And bring your fingertips down. And we'll windscreen wipe your knees so they're going in the other direction. Turn your belly towards your right knee. And do the same thing. Lean into your fingertips. Make little gecko claws with your hands. And then take the hands away and continue with that undulation of your spine. You'll feel it working in your right glute here. Lead with the chin and chest. Tuck the chin into the chest as you roll up through the spine. Come back to the centre. Well done. We'll take the left leg out this time. Sliding along that left leg. Tipping over just until you find a nice stretch. Rolling open and then turning the belly down and softening forward. Moving like seaweed under the water. Rolling open. Keep that top arm going, bring it down behind your back, lean into that palm, lift your hips up. Turn your body into a gentle arch. Well done. Easing your hips back down. Bring the soles of your feet together now. Lean back, lean back into the palms and shift your body weight from side to side. And then crawl your hands over and relax forward. Let your head go, let your neck go. Sway a little side to side. Roll up and send your legs out to the side. So you can always bring them a little closer in together. You can always bend the knees. Lean behind you into your palms. Roll around a little bit here. And then crawl your hands out in front of you and soften forward. It doesn't matter how far you can go or not. I would do this every day. So it takes time. It doesn't matter. You're not doing anything wrong by not going very far. Better to listen to your body. Bring your legs together now. If there's tightness behind the thighs, bend the knees. Start with leaning back. Lean into your palms. And then crawl all the way up and over. Hinge from the hip joint and relax over your legs. As you breathe in, breathe into the belly. Feel it expand. And then 
Let go of that breath and soften. So you create space with the inhale and you let the exhale take you a little further along. The inhale creates space. The exhale takes you into that space. Roll up through the spine. Lean to one side, take your feet to the other side and ease your way onto hands and knees. We'll start with a rib roll. Move your middle, your torso, your rib cage in a big circular movement. Moving easy and then change direction. Circle your torso the other way. And then tuck your toes under and we'll take a hip circle. Out to one side, back to the heels, over to the other side. Circle in the opposite direction. Just move your spine around any way that feels nice. And then walk your hands forward and drop your hips down, coming into gentle cobra. If it doesn't feel good in your back, lower down a little. Press the mat away, lift your chest up as high as you comfortably can. And then bend the knees, sway to the right side, unweighting that left leg, slide it to the outside of your left hand. Lower your chest down. Come onto your forearms if you can. If that feels too tight in the hip joint, then maybe just one forearm or just lower your chest. Move your bottom around and then send your bottom back towards your back heel for a runner's stretch. You can stay upright or you can relax forward. Take a little wander around here, over to the right and then around to the left. So we're moving here, getting into every little part of you. Rebending that knee, sway to the opposite side, and we'll change sides here. Sway towards the right, slide the right foot to the outside of the right hand, lower down onto the forearms if you can, and move your hips and bottom around. Notice how that feels in the left hip joint. Let's take your bottom back, lengthening out that left leg. You can stay upright or you can relax over for a nice hamstring stretch. Go for a little wander around to one side and then around to the other, noticing how you feel every step of the way. Every step of the way is as important. There's no end goal here. Come back onto hands and knees and roll up to standing on your knees. As you breathe in, float your arms all the way out and up. As you breathe out, relax them down. We'll take it to a gate pose. Slide your right foot out to the right side. Stand up on the left knee, float your arms up and over. And then slide down that extended leg. And then tip all the way up and over to the other side. Floating that right arm up, floating the right leg up. Bring the elbow to the knee as you crunch in, re-lengthen, move with the breath. Inhale to extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend and then take that leg, that floating leg behind you and roll your belly open to the sky. We're going to come back onto our knees and slide the other leg out now. Roll up through the spine, inhale, floating your arms up. We'll slide along the extended leg on the exhale. Tip all the way up and over, lean into that right hand, float the left leg up and then elbow to knee, rounding in, re-lengthen on the inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, re-lengthen, exhale, elbow to knee, re-lengthen and roll your belly open to the sky. Well done. Come back onto hands and knees. Now, Tuck your toes under, bring your hands to your low back as though you're sliding them in the back pocket of your jean and lift your chest up to the sky. If you can, reach back, take a hold of the heels. Going to sweep your left arm across the body up to the sky and then we'll swap sides. This is called dancing camel. Move easy here, just sweeping that arm across, opening your chest to the sky, sweeping the arm back, swapping sides, a nice smooth, easygoing, continuous dancing camel. Ease down onto your hips, relax your arms by your side, 